Good morning everybody who is interested in renewable energy, heat pumps and photovoltaics. We are here, I just brewed a special uh, iced coffee and heading to a residential park, uh, Cordia. As usual, we will check the weather, it's not too cold, not too hot, it's perfect for installation. And the special thing about today is that we are installing a hybrid system, Solux batteries, Solux inverters and a smart meter. I highly recommend this as the price value ratio is outstanding. I would install it in my own house as well. So let's get started and just join us for today. We are at the installations at Cordia. You can see the inverter and the batteries and the whole amusement park is running on photovoltaic electricity. Norby, tell us about it. We have a 15 kilowatt Solax inverter, 40 solar panels on the roof, which is approximately 16 kilowatts. We also have two 5.8 kilowatt hour batteries. We see that we are producing 2.3 kilowatts, which is the entire house and the amusement park's consumption. We store the remaining energy in the batteries. Wow, it's very interesting. Great to see that such a large developer is not only building a family-friendly amusement park with various activities, but also powering it with renewable energy and uh, considering energy storage as well. They can store excess energy generated during the day and reuse it when the system is not producing photovoltaic. Norby, tell us about the system we installed here. We have set up a solar system that obviously provides energy for daytime cooling, heating and electricity for the entire building for the whole day. Yeah, the irrigation system. We power these with energy. Since the park covers a large area, it includes lighting and gate automation, all of which run on electrical power. We can use the energy stored in the batteries to operate this during the evening. So basically it's almost a fully off-grid uh, system that uh, during the day uh, we produce photovoltaic and then we store the energy in the batteries. And of course when it's uh, not enough photovoltaic then we can use the grid. So what is the capacity of these batteries? Each of them has a capacity of 5.8 kilowatt hours. This one is the master and this is the slave. So together we have a total capacity of 11.6 kilowatt hours, which we can store and manage. This can be charged in one day or even less. Plenty. It charges in one and a half to two hours if the weather is good. So this system can operate during a power outage or a complete blackout, right? It can work fully off-grid. It will automatically switch to EPS mode and then it can supply power to the loads connected to the EPS circuit. So yeah, the EPS is like the uninterruptible power supply. This is part of the uninterruptible power supply. It can be connected here, but it's not done yet. If we connect the loads here and for example, in the evening or during a power outage, or if anything happens to the grid, then through this it will be supplied with power from the battery and solar panels. Of course, if there is enough daytime power. And what is the price category more or less nowadays for such a system? In terms of price to value ratio, it's definitely in a very good position. It's important to note that in comparison of a hybrid system and a traditional system, the batteries alone in the hybrid system cost at least as much as a traditional system alone. The project developer invested in this for the clients. The utility costs are lower, the common expenses are less, so the return on investment is only just a few years. So it's really great. Let's go and take a look around. After a busy day, we are back in the office. I hope you all enjoyed this episode and found it informative and educative. We introduced heat pumps, solar panels, electric vehicle chargers and interesting discussions. And thank you for being with us. Don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.